Whoa, 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 whoa. Why y'all so happy? Hey, you don't know. Charvette Mitchell is on the radio. It's time to get motivated, excited, and, and influenced. Why? It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, live from Richmond, Virginia. And now, here to motivate, excite, and influence you, Charvette, Charvette Mitchell. Well, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, broadcasting live from the capital city of Richmond, Virginia, but heard all across the world, wide web. Hey, dolls. Hey, gents. Thank you so much for checking us out here, where the goal of our show is to motivate, excite, and influence, and we're going to do that today with our amazing guest that's hanging out in the virtual green room. She's just, she's just ready to come up to the mic any moment now, uh, but listen, this segment is brought to you you by Mitchell Productions Web Design. Come on, let's build something amazing for your brand, for your company. Uh, and you can check me out at charvettemitchell.com for those services. If you're hanging out on charvette.com, listen, there's links all over the place over there uh, to connect recall, uh, concerning your web design needs. Uh, and as always, we want you guys to share this out Share this out. Let people know what you're listening to. Shout out to those that listen in from iTunes and from TuneIn and from Spreaker and from, of course, Charvette.com and Blog Talk Radio and all of our broadcast stations. And some of you that may be listening from an Alexa device. <laughs> we appreciate you as well. So let me tell you what I have uh, lined up uh, on the docket today. This young lady is amazing. I've met her in person. Uh, Candace Ledbetter is with us. She is a PR and visibility strategist, and, 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 and she's the owner of CN Better Media, which is a multifaceted communications agency that provides a specialized suite of services that includes public relations, media relations, brand building, event planning, and many, many more things. She has... Uh, serviced and has an impressive list of brands um, that she's been able to serve, such as ESPN, Fox, Searchlight, Disney, oh my goodness, Oxygen, Bravo, Oprah Winfrey Network, the Essence Festival, and I could literally, literally go on. And But you know what? Meeting her in person, I know she's probably like clutching her pearls saying, oh my God, you ain't got to read through all of that. Uh, but we are excited to have Candace Ledbetter with us. We're going to be talking about PR. And you know, a lot of you that listen to this show are entrepreneurs small business owners, and you you wonder sometimes, like, when do, I know I need PR, I think I need PR, when do I need it, what what is all of that entailed, and we're going to answer those questions for you today. I do want to do a shout out, I do want to do a shout out, I had the opportunity to speak today at the amazing and beautiful Virginia State uh, University, shout out to Virginia State, uh, and shout out to Brent Solomon. I'm the professor for one of the public relations and media classes. Um, Shout out to those amazing young people who are going to transform and change the world through public relations and media. So uh, if you're listening in, hey, I shouted you guys out. (laughs) All right. So listen, without further ado, I am bringing up to the mic right now, Candice Ledbetter. Welcome to the show. Hello, hello, hello. And and you know what, Trevette, if I can just join in your shout out to Virginia State yes. University. I am a proud Virginia State University Trojan. Yes. Woo-hoo! I graduated in yeah, graduated in ninety eight and I'm just so happy to hear that you were there and like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get there. So <laughs> So, yes. Listen, we're going to make that happen. And I, them out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we're going to help make that happen. And, like, I could not have planned because, you know, this this interview has been planned for a while. And so Probably I could while, not have yeah. planned this <laughs> any better um, <laughs> to be able to bring you on. And so, um, so tell our listeners, let's just go back in time. How did you even get into this space with public relations and media relations and all that good stuff? Wow. Well, I can tell you that I feel like I've been in public relations all my life. <laughs> mm. Because growing up, I was always that kid that would be, you know, the Candace, we want you to host the talent show. Candace, we want you to host this. And even when I was at Virginia State University, um, I was president of the Mass Communications Club. And of course, I was the host of all of our meetings. And then, of course, any special events that we had. They were always putting me on the mic. (laughs) 
Um, <laughs> and then it just it was just uh, it was just a part of me. So I knew that I needed to be in an industry where I was expressive and being able to be on the platform. And for sure, um, I graduated from Virginia State with an uh, with an English BA in English and concentration in mass communications. Of course, focusing on radio and television broadcasting. And of course, I did plenty of internships. And I just thought, I just knew that I was going uh-huh. to be the next Oprah, or you know what I'm saying? Like I just knew that I was yes. going to be that person. But honey, I came out of Virginia State University, and I went straight to Capital One. <laughs> So, Which is another Capital similarity one. that we have. Another That's similarity right. that we have because I spent 25 <laughs> years there. Girl, I tell you. And and I, I actually uh, appreciated my experience at Capital One because it gave me corporate experience. And I was yeah. I started out in uh, in customer relations. Then I moved over to the dispute correspondence. And then after mm-hmm. I left Capital One, I became a teacher. And I enjoy teaching. I mean, to this day, my students, they have found me on social media. They stalk me. They, I, <laughs> I stalk them, too. But, you know, because they're like my children. But, but it's amazing to have I – I was happy to have had that experience as a teacher because what I learned as a teacher helped me in my career now. So, um so anyway, taught for four years, eighth grade language arts, Rip On Middle School, shout out to Prince William County Schools. Um, and then I transitioned to Atlanta because at the time I was like, you know, I, at the time I was 30 years old and I said, you know, uh-huh. I'm not married. I don't have any kids. So let me really put my best foot forward in pursuing the industry that I really want to be in. So I sold my house in Virginia, came down to Atlanta bought another house and just set up shop and that's Uh when I was like okay God it's me and you um what we gonna do (laughs) before (laughs) long before long I found myself um going back to uh, Connecticut School of Broadcasting and that was just to refresh my memory on all of this and update my um my skills on the new technology of you know broadcast platforms and this and the third uh, cameras and you know uh, broadcasting for radio and through that program I had to do an internship and doing that internship I ended up being a uh, being hired to be a producer at the top radio station in Atlanta which is V103 and so I was a producer for uh, from 2008 to 2010 in 2011 I got promoted to the promotions uh, department and was and became the PR manager. And from there, in 2014, I left the radio world and pursued PR full-time. Um, when I left, I contracted with a, an agency here in Atlanta called the 135th Street Agency. Uh, they specialize in uh, film and television. Um, and then also progressed from there and contracted with other agencies uh, like Liquid Soul that's based here in Atlanta and who also does the same type of work. And that's where I got a lot of my experience uh, working with some of the big studios that you mentioned in the intro. Um, And just to explain what I do with that, um, with those studios and television networks, you, you know how when a new movie is about to come out and you start to see the cast members go on uh, The Daily Show with Trevor Noah and Today's Show and Good Morning America, yeah. you start to see them talk about the movie. I'm part yeah. of the PR team that gets that books the celebrities or the, the talent from those films onto those shows. That's what I do on a daily basis. So, yeah. I love it. Oh, my goodness, that journey. Thank you for just breaking that down because oftentimes people, you know, they just hear me reading ESPN and Oprah Winfrey, Net- <laughs> um, Oprah Winfrey Network and uh, Pan Africa. Right. <laughs> you know, they hear right. all of that and then don't hear the steps and don't hear, I yeah. call them the breadcrumbs along the, along the way. What would you, would yeah. you say there was a pivotal moment where you said, I can do this on my own? So... I, you know, when I left the radio station, I knew that I was going into PR full time. So in that, um, I learned a lot 
from the places where I contracted. And thankfully, they were empowering uh, to be like, we know that you are a contractor. And of course, as a contractor, you have to create a business for yourself to legitimize, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, because we got to pay those good taxes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes. to legitimize myself, it was like, you know, I, I need to legitimize myself as a business. And then I still had the mindset that I was just going to be contracting with other people. But because of the work that I was doing, word of mouth, when you do great work, word of mouth will carry you through. And um, I received a lot of word of mouth projects, which really propelled me into going full time into my company. And it was a scary journey, trust me, because when you're comfortable and, and happy in your, in your nine to five and you get that two week uh, paycheck every two weeks, uh, there's mm-hmm. a certain level of comfort that you have. But once you step out, um, to pursue what you feel is in your heart and your spirit to do. Uh, it can be scary at first, but then you realize that you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're now aligned with your destiny and you're aligned with provision that comes with destiny. Uh, uh, I don't want to get on. to preaching, but you know. I'm known, <laughs> to, I'm, I'm known to start preaching, Charlotte. You, you need to stop me. <laughs> Listen, do what you do. Do what you do. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, and, and, and I'm so glad that I did make that leap because, mm-hmm. um, you know, being able to work with the studios and not just the studios, I've worked with um, Greg Allen Williams, a, a famous actor who's been in like everything known to man, uh, including Greenleaf. He was the, 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 um, the villain, Uncle Mac on Greenleaf. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody watched Greenleaf. Um, yeah. Legendary Peebo, Peebo Bryson, legendary um, R&B singer. And most recently, um, I started working with uh, uh, Stokely Williams who is the lead yes. front man from Mint Condition. So, yeah, so those those experiences um, and also working with small business owners and individuals who are brand influencers, like, it's, it's just been a great journey. And every step along the way has taught me everything that I need to know and equipped mm-hmm. me with um, what is necessary to do good work. Um, and that's from the oh. corporate side all the way to being an entrepreneur. So, yeah. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. If you just tuned in, you're listening to Candace Ledbetter, PR and visibility strategist and owner of CN Better Media. And um, something you just said triggered a, uh, a conversation I had at the end of my presentation today at Virginia State University. And one of the young ladies came up to me and said, how do you, how do you get confidence? Like, how do you become, you know, mm. more confident to move into these areas? And what I said to her, it was every step gives you confidence. So you're not yes. going to get the confidence if you don't take the step, which is just in alignment with what you just said, that every every piece of the journey, every step of, along the way has helped to build and craft what it is um, that you're doing now. And so um, let's. Right. how do you define PR? Well, how I define PR, because everybody has their own version. <laughs> yes. Um, but how I define PR <laughs> Um, PR to me is the way that a person, a brand, a company, it's the way that they communicate and connect with their audience. So usually that's done through um, a lot of their owned media channels. And when I say owned media, I'm talking about like your website, your blog, your podcast, um, definitely social media. Um, mm-hmm. you, a newsletter that you have going out every month, any platform that you have control over um, and you're communicating to your audience, that's what public relations is because it's, it's, it's a, a full um, communication type experience when it comes to public relations. So it's not just one thing. Now, what I will say is that what most people are looking for when they want to work with somebody like me or work with a publicist what they're looking for a lot of times is media relations. And that's where, of course, they want the interviews. They want to be on TV. They want to be in magazines and all of that. So with media relations, it's technically the same thing. It's how that same person, that same brand, that same company, how they're connecting with their audience 
but only through broadcast platforms like radio and television, the print publications, the blogs and news sites and podcasts, all of that. That's that's how they that's media relations. So basically the same type of definition is just one is through your own media channels mm-hmm. um, and then media relations is through somebody else's media channel. Thank you for breaking that down. I hope listeners, I know y'all taking notes, right? Y'all, <laughs> y'all better be out there taking notes. Y'all better be out there taking notes. Okay, and so uh, rhetorical question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Why is PR important for, and let's tailor this, oh, wow. for small businesses, small businesses and entrepreneurs? Okay. Um, so public relations for small businesses and entrepreneurs Um, It's important when they're trying to raise visibility and awareness about a new product, a new service, Um, if they're launching something big or going into partnership um, with with another business. Uh, So basically, it's it's raising that visibility and awareness for something that's newsworthy. Now, there are a lot of people in this world (laughs) who have (laughs) new products and new services, but what is the... What is the unique angle of your thing that makes it newsworthy? Um, and that's, what, that's why it's important because you're raising that visibility. Also, it's important for um, attracting new customers. You know, a lot of times, mm-hmm. you know, businesses, they, they, they have a great uh, thing going on, but they don't have the, the, the flow of customers coming in. So a lot of times yeah. they do PR just so that they can get the visibility to bring those people in. Um, and then also probably the most important um, is probably to uh, raise their authority, you know, to, to raise the profile mm-hmm. of their authority. Because small business owners and entrepreneurs, you know, whatever lane we are working in becomes our zone of genius. You know, if we're working in, in what we do day in and day out, we are experts at what we do. Yes. And so and so now now you work so much to a point where it's like, okay, I'm doing this all of these great things, but nobody knows about it. So I need to get myself out there. And that's when public relations becomes important. Fabulous, fabulous. Well said, well said. And so uh, what are the things from your your opinion that, uh, and we can stick with anyone that, that feels like, you know, okay, I need to work on my public relations or, or media relations. What are things they should have in place uh, before going after mm. public relations or media relations? What should they have in, in place first? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you probably already heard my hmm, my uh-huh. <laughs> my humming my humming. See, this is where we about to preach, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm yes. a on my roll. So, <laughs> um, first and foremost, oh my goodness! Please, please, please have a strong foundation. And when I say mm-hmm. strong foundation, I mean what is your landing base? Because here's the thing with PR. When you work with the publicist, we're going we're gonna to do our best to get you out there. We're going to get you the interviews. We're going to get you the placements. We're gonna, we're, that's what our job is. We're working to get you visibility. But when we get you that visibility, how are you going to capture the, the increase that comes from that visibility? I can't begin to tell you <laughs> how many mm. people... Um, come and want PR but they don't have any type of website, they don't have any type of social media presence they have no landing base for people to come, because what's the first thing see I heard the amen corner coming from yeah I'm about to preach we about to tag team (laughs) preach this we about to tag team this (laughs) okay because (laughs) because the thing about it is if, if you don't have that landing base, what's the point in us doing the PR? You know, what's the what point in the us point? putting you out there if you're not ready to capture that audience? Um, you know, people, they they come and they're like, oh, I thought about doing the website. but this, and, and to be honest with you, there are some people who say you don't need a website. Just get yourself a good landing page. And that can work in some instances, but even a mm-hmm. landing page is a landing base. <laughs> you know what I'm yes. saying? So, yes. Yes. 
So that that I have to I will sing that from the rooftop. Please have a strong foundation. And and I'm not saying that you have to you know especially when it comes to social media. I'm not saying that you have to have thousands and millions of followers. I'm not saying that. Right. What I'm just saying is when people get eyes on you, the first thing that they're going to do when they, when they probably, even with me being on this podcast, I'm sure that somebody has already Googled me. Okay. Who is yes. that? Let me, let me go. Let me put in her name. Okay. There's her. And when they look for me, there's a website, there's social media, and there's a way to connect with me. There's also social proof. There's also examples of the work that I've done. So that way it builds my credibility to the people that are looking for me. Now, if you don't have that in place, that's just, that's going to be a big challenge. And I'm one who will not start PR until we at least have some way to capture the audience. Um, uh, another thing to um, have in place is be, be newsworthy. So, and we mm. talked about this in the earlier question, but yeah. being newsworthy is so important because, again, there are many people in this world who are doing similar things to what you're doing. Um, I'm not the only publicist in the world, but what makes me different from another publicist? Charvette, you're not the only web designer in the world. You know what I'm saying? But what right. makes you different from other web designers? So you have to really think about your unique selling proposition. You know, in, in the business world, they call it the USP. Um, or, or just what is it that, that differentiates what you do from your competitors? Um, and a lot of times, you know, especially when it comes to PR, um, you have to look at things like, okay, what is the timeliness of what it is that you're putting out there? Um, how, what kind of impact does it have and, and whose lives will it change? And, you know, why is it important? Mm. So those are the things that you can ask yourself when you're trying to determine um, what's newsworthy and why oh, these people should so interview you. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is so good. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to take a quick commercial break. If you just tuned in, you're listening to Candace Led Better. Uh, and um, when we come back, I want to want you to just share, like, when is it time to hire a PR agency? Um, you've covered some great tips on, like, things to have in place, but the timing of it. So we're going to do, take a quick commercial break, listeners. Don't you move. We are going to be right back. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Charvette will be back after this. I need answers to my tax questions. Where can I find them? Need answers? Try our interactive tax assistant on irs.gov forward slash ITA. Simply select your tax questions, provide your information, and it gives you answers. Also, check our help and resources page and try our online tax map. 5,000 tax topics from A to Z. Plus, you can access forms, publications, in a variety of formats. Are you starting a new business, releasing a CD, writing a new book? Consider Mitchell Productions for your web design services. Visit www.mitchell-productions.com for portfolio samples, specials, and package prices. Remember, a website is not a luxury item. It's a necessity. Check out mitchell-productions.com or find them at facebook.com slash mitchellproductions. She's here to motivate, excite, and influence you. She's Charvette Mitchell. Charvette Mitchell. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show with in-depth interviews from today's leading author, gospel artist, stars that you want to know about. And now, Charvette Mitchell. All right, welcome back again. I'm super excited to be hanging out here in the virtual studio with Candice Ledbetter, PR and visibility strategist, uh, and I'm telling you what, owner of in Better Media. Uh, and Candice, before we get into the, the last question, I'm telling you, our time flew by. Uh, tell the listeners how they can <laughs> connect with you online. Yes, so my website is cnbettermedia.com, uh, and that's the letter C, the letter N, better, as in I feel better, media.com. Um, and you can also find me on social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at CN Better Media. All right, and I've tagged 
uh, on Twitter. I've tagged on Facebook. I've tagged on Instagram. So I know you follow me. Uh, Facebook.com slash Charvette. <laughs> Twitter.com slash Charvette. And Instagram, it's Charvette M. So those are great connection points right there. All right. So um, let's say we have our, our landing our landing in place. We've, we've got some great um, photography. I'm going to just throw that in. And we've got, you know, we've got, we're newsworthy. Uh, when is mm-hmm. it time to hire a PR agency versus doing this thing on our own? Okay. So, and this is where you'll hear me repeat some things because when it's time to hire somebody like me, again, you have something that's newsworthy and unique. So I won't spend any more time with that one because we already talked about it. Um, and then also, uh, you've plateaued. You know, there are a lot of times where there are small business owners and entrepreneurs who probably got press early on when they launched because they were newsworthy and unique, um, mm-hmm. but they haven't had that coverage for a long time. So they've plateaued and they're ready to widen their visibility, you know? Um, mm-hmm. So that's that's one way, um, or one reason rather. Another reason is um, maybe you're new and and you've gained popularity because of um, organic buzz and conversation and people are sharing and spreading the word about you and what you've got going on. So that then becomes an opportunity for you to maximize the moment, you know, kind of like how, yeah. you know, people say you're 15 minutes of fame, then, <laughs> then that's yes. basically... Yes, so that's basically people talking, people sharing, like, oh, my gosh, you've gone viral. Like, these are the moments to maximize and get that visibility. Um, And then also, you know, people are reaching out to you. You know, um, somebody has recognized who you are, and now you're starting to get phone calls from people like Charvette Mitchell to do a podcast <laughs> yes. an um, or, or, or a television interview or whatever. People are coming for you. They're, they're looking for you or they've heard about you and they're like, hey, I need you on my show. So that is another reason why you want to amplify your PR or hire a PR agent. And then also, and this is very important, you're ready. You're mm-hmm. ready for mm-hmm. PR. And, and when I say ready for PR, this goes beyond the landing base. This now gets into mentally, your mindset. Are you mentally prepared and available for press? Because one thing that people don't realize is that if you're not mentally prepared, PR can be very overwhelming, especially if yeah. you've got something great and we are, we're kicking out the press interviews. Let me tell you something. I have, been, I have worked on movie projects with celebrities who have been in the game for a long time but you let us book that press for them and some of them are just like oh my gosh i'm overwhelmed about to pull their hair i can't out. take it they're about to pull their yeah. hair out because they're talking to so many people and you know you have they're and they're saying the same things which can get redundant to them but it's new to the audience that they're talking to but it gets overwhelming so you have to be ready for press you have to be mentally prepared for it and and there's a little thing uh, called imposter syndrome um, that, yes. will, that will really shut some people down like they can have something great and, and we're doing press but then they will start feeling the overwhelm and then they'll be like oh my god who do I think I am I, I shouldn't mm, be doing this mm. and, and then you'll start to see them back away like hey so can I reschedule that interview can I I've seen it all and you just have to wow. be able to stand in your greatness and last thing have a budget have a budget. PR oh, oh, is talk not about cheap. the money. <laughs> <laughs> talk PR about the money. What is what is a starting yeah. range? And it, this might not be your pricing, but just what should people be prepared when they're dealing with a PR agency? When you're dealing with an now, there's a difference because if you're dealing with a boutique agency or a contractor, um, like myself, I'm a contractor, and I can be considered a boutique agency if I contract a few people here and there. Um, okay. But that you're looking at an individual contractor, you're looking anywhere between 2500 on retainer, 2500 a month to maybe 4000 a month. Boutique okay. agency, you may range from 5000 a month to 10000 a month because they have a team. And then mm-hmm. when you go into full agency, you're looking at 10000 
pot really to be honest with you maybe like more 15 20,000 and above because then you have a whole machine behind it um so yeah you got to be prepared for that now there yes. are opportunities that people and every publicist is different so you have to make sure mm-hmm. that you um have a conversation with them to find out what works for you um but i will tell you a lot of times you get what you pay for. If you if you have somebody mm-hmm. who is only charging you two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars, either they're just starting out and trying to get the experience, which is which is good. I mean, we all do that. Right. You know, we we give lower prices because we're trying to get the experience or build the um, build the reputation. But then there are some people, to be honest, you know, as with some people, they're just janky, and you and they will take your money <laughs> and <laughs> yes. They, I've seen this Thank many you. times. They will take your money and they will run with it, and you will never see a thing. So you have to really mm. vet the people that you're looking at. One other thing um, that I want to mention with regard to budget: a lot of times in PR, you have to understand that there's a difference between between PR and marketing. Marketing yeah. every business, every brand, you need to have a marketing plan with a budget. And the reason why I say that is because PR really falls as a line item underneath your marketing plan. So Mm -hmm. PR, not just paying for a publicist, but also be ready to pay for certain interviews because if you have a book or an event or you're trying to put butts in seats and sell tickets or something like that, nine times out of ten, you're not going to get a lot of earned media, which means it's like the free, the free stuff that we're able to get. Uh-huh. A lot of times that, that come, you're not able to get that because you will be asked to do a media buy, which is basically buying advertising. And mm-hmm. the reason why, and you'll run, into a, you'll run into that a lot with radio especially because their thing is, you know, we're, we're giving you a platform to get on our station, but you're, and you're charging for people to come to your event, but we're not getting anything out of it. So they may ask you to do a media buy for, in order to get on that morning show. And, and especially with morning shows that are really popular, you know, sometimes if you, a lot of times they're caught up in celebrities. And if you have a celebrity yeah. attached to what you're doing, that can definitely be a door. Or again, if it's timely, if there's impact and it's, and it's tied into a right now conversation, it's possible to get that interview just because they want to talk about what you've got going on. But otherwise, you have to be ready to do, um, do ad buys. And, and just like you set aside money to do social media buys, set aside some money for, um, for potential PR opportunities as well. This was so good. Like, we are out of time, over time. But this was so good, Candice. <laughs> Thank sorry, you so I'm much for that. pouring <laughs> um, this information into our listeners. Um, one more time, give all of your contact information. Awesome. So my website is cnbettermedia.com. My social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter is cnbettermedia. And then um, my email address, I mean, if, if anybody wants to, you know, um, schedule a chat, actually do this. Yeah. If you want to schedule a chat with me, go to my Instagram, CM Better Media, and then click on the link in my bio, and then there'll be a button there to schedule a chat. And you can schedule a chat with me, and we can talk about what you've got going on. Wonderful! I love this. I feel like like I need to have you back because um, there there is more I'm sure <laughs> that we could we could delve Anytime. into. But <laughs> I, I appreciate your time and just I will just continue to stay connected and keep on doing amazing yes. like bad to the thank bone you. things out there. Thank you. <laughs> and you bad oh, to the bone too, girl. So I'm I'm honest with <laughs> you. So <laughs> anytime you need me, hey girl, know. hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. (laughs) All right. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, listeners, that is going to wrap it up for today. We're going to have a more amazing show next week. Keep it locked. Until then, peace and so much love to you. Bye. Live from Richmond, Virginia, you've been listening to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Catch Charvette Mitchell every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Interviewing all the stars you want to hear from. So until next week, stay motivated, excited, and influenced. This is the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show.